Yeah, actually, uh, what happened in, uh, in Addis Ababa uh, is the death of my wife, Mary Shulio. Uh, Mary Shulio, she is my wife. Uh, she lived in Europe, in Denmark. She came to Ethiopia on July. Uh, she has almost three months here in, uh, in Ethiopia, capital Addis Ababa. Then uh, what happened in a hotel, uh, this is what surprised us. Then uh, she, she's dead in a hotel. Uh, we don't have the, the concrete information, the details. Uh, and then we came, when we had this from Juba, South Sudan, then we were shocked with the news. That's why we rushed here, we came to Addis Ababa. Uh, actually, the incident took place on October 1st, 2020. Then uh, we came, two of us, is myself, uh, the husband of the late Mary Shulio. My name is Garul Garukos Rodnyang. Then uh, was the brother of, brother of Shulio, John Kudio. We came here and we escorted the body to Gambela. From Gambela, we took her to South Sudan. She was buried in Kwerenka Payam where our, our, our hometown or her place. Uh, now, we came back from uh, Gambela to Addis Ababa. We are still following the cases from the police. But up to now, the police did not give us the, the result. But they told us now they are still investigating more, more information. And I think they will, uh, they will feed uh, back the embassy of South Sudan they, with all the results of forensic. And that's why we're here. But what happened in the hotel, we don't know exactly who pushed her. Who pushed her because she was, she, she was pushed from the, from the, she lived actually the second floor. Then she was pushed from the window and then down, she fell down from the so window. Mary Shulio, she's a uh, grown, uh, grown woman. She has almost 50, 50 something years. She has children. Uh, she's very compatible. She came from Europe. Uh, she was not even sick. Uh, we talked to her, we used to talk to her, she, she, she has never complained uh, of any sickness or any mentality, uh, or a mental, uh, mental cases that could make her to could commit a suicide. So there are no good reasons for her to make a good suicide because her six children are still in Denmark because she came here as a visitor and then from there, when the lockdown of the coronavirus came, then she couldn't go back to, to Europe, to Denmark, but she has been here. But we thought somebody Somebody from the opposition uh, may, may, made a flood by hiring criminals that the close criminal can, uh, can, can, can kill her and then can kill her. And uh, these are the people who are, we, are, we, are, we are actually accusing, but we have not seen, we have no evidence and we actually carried out this society, this, this, uh, this death toll to actions. We, we came from the Mayo. In 2015, I was a uh, military governor of the Espelle Mayo. Then we, I disagreed with Riek Mashar over the, the family establishment of the, of the Espelle Mayo structures. So we disagreed. Uh, so for me, uh, Riek Mashar is the political enemy because we, we disagreed in 2015 in Fagak. And then all of us, when he signed the uh, ASIS of 2015 agreement, we, in 2016 we all went to Juba uh, separately. He went as the leader of the SPLMIO to Juba, and also we have signed our own deal as Federal Democratic Party with the government. We all went to Juba. So we are parallelly two parties who are actually opposing themselves within, the, within South Sudan. So for me, I'm accusing them because, because if they have no access to get me, then they could find access to get my wife. And she, she was not a politician, mm. but she's the wife of a political leader like me. She can also be targeted because, uh, uh, because of my political, uh, my political position. Because my political opponent can also can make me faint by killing my wife or my children or my relatives yeah, because when, when they don't have a chance to get me uh, but they can also do that proxy uh, war against my family 
Uh, and actually, we, we lost a very great, uh, great, uh, great, uh, great person in the house. Uh, Mary Shulio, she was my first wife. Uh, we married her in 1980. So she's a very responsible, responsible woman in the house. Uh, she used to unite all the family members. So we lost her, we lost her very seriously.
Uh, first of all, I would like to, to take this time to thank you for uh, coming to, to, to conduct this small but important interview. Uh, what had happened to my sister, a married child, was a tragic. She died, uh, but always there's a cause for death, there's time for death. Uh, Chol is older than me. Uh, I know him, her as a quiet person, very open person, uh, who loves uh, her children so much. And her death was a tragic, only, not only for us, as a family that she originated from, but also for uh, the family that she married from and also for her children who are now in Denmark. Uh, I have come to realize that she came to Addis in July uh, 2020. I spoke with her on the phone uh, and uh, we discussed some few issues. And that was the last, the first and the last time I talked to her were while she's here. Uh, when the news came in Juba that Chol was found dead uh, in, in the hotel or the pension that she was she put in uh, was, was, was a shock to all of us uh, and uh, but there's nothing that we could say it. Uh, the police came I've realized that uh, they came to the hotel uh, they found out that uh, the, the, the door was locked inside while Chol was outside, light in the window. Uh, and then they have to use the master key to open the, uh, the, the door. Uh, given the circumstances of her death, uh, for sure you wouldn't, you wouldn't, you wouldn't, you would, you would, you would conclude that what happened to her was her own deed that she, she committed suicide until we, 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 we get the final investigation, which is a forensic that's taking place now in the police. And uh, from there we'll, 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 we'll know that uh, for sure the cause of the death was actually incident or some, somebody involved or it was her who committed suicide. Uh, until then, we will, took, we will treat the, the circumstances of her death as suspicious uh, and uh, we, we are also very thankful for the help that was provided by our embassy, South Sudan embassy in Juba, in, uh, in Addis and support that we got also from the hospital where she was, the, after she died, she was brutal. The doctors cooperated a lot with us. Also, police did a very good job. So we, we thank uh, basically the Ethiopian government for, uh, for, for standing with us uh, during this uh, uh, tragic incident. So who is fault? I mean, the, the initial investigation of the police uh, shows that she committed suicide. But even when I spoke to her husband, General Gatpos, he was, he was suspecting that somebody else could have, uh, uh, you know, pushed her off the second floor. And uh, so, uh, who is following the police investigation? Is it the embassy or the family? What's, what's the, the, the embassy wrote to the police asking for the uh, forensic to be conducted. And then, after they, they conduct the forensics, I think the police will uh, will will will, uh, will will send the report to the to the embassy. Yes, it's the embassy which is responsible, which which is, uh, is actually uh, uh, looking after the the case now. Mm. Is there uh, any means? Do you think uh, marriage could by any means commit suicide? Certainly. 
And was she, for example, did she have some kind of depression, for example, because she was stuck, uh, stuck stranded here in Addis Ababa because of COVID, maybe? I'm not sure of her being, uh, being depressed. And I would say for sure that she committed suicide because I wasn't there when the, when the incident ha happened and the police came after the incident happened. So, uh, as I said earlier, this case has to be treated as suspicious uh, until otherwise the police forensic come out uh, with, with, the, with, the, with the concrete information. So, when, uh, when do we expect the forensic investigation to find out? Did the police say anything about that? Not really, no. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not sure when, but it uh, take, normally take between 10 to 15 days 10, 15. for the forensic uh, investigation to be completed. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, so, and maybe if you want to say more, uh, anything else also about her relatives, about her children, and you know, finally, anything else you want to add? Uh, I don't think I would say much. I believe the husband uh, talk a lot about the issue and her children are in Denmark, yes. One child, the eldest, uh, the firstborn child is here. He wasn't even with us actually. He, he was among the people who took the body up to, to Nasser and he's, he's now in Gambella. Uh, the, the thing is, her children are, are, are all adult except only one last child which is maybe having 16 to 40, 16 to 17 years old so uh, they are they, they, they are all grown up people okay thank you john thank, thank you, you.